If you'd like to improve your marketing and get more of your ideal clients, it's about focusing your marketing on the stories of your ideal clients so that others who are like them can recognize themselves and decide to learn more about your services. So here's an exercise to help you focus your marketing on your ideal clients. Now this is an exercise that I invite you to do. Uh, just take 15 minutes to start it. And then if you're on a roll, keep going. And then come back, you know, come back after a day or two or after a week or two and make some more progress on it. So here, here's the first step. The first step is to close your eyes and imagine your ideal client. Now this may be a person that is already one of your current clients if you have clients or maybe one of the clients you've worked with in the past that you really enjoyed working with. They got a lot out of working with you or if you don't have any clients yet it's a client you're imagining uh, you'd love to serve. Okay, That's the first step is to, is to bring them to your, uh, your mind's eye, bring them into your heart. Now the second step is to write a quick story nothing uh, doesn't have to be great grammar it's it's, it's really just for yourself uh, you're going to use the story to improve your marketing the story doesn't have to be shared as you write it uh, but you can use elements of it in your in your website and in the way that you describe your services to your ideal clients okay so the story is this number one as they come to you to work with you what are the symptoms they're coming to you with? What are the issues that they're asking you to help them solve? Okay, what are the problems that they're facing as they begin the work with you? Okay, so go ahead and write that down. And you may even pause this video and try writing, writing something down and then unpause this video to continue. Now, remember there are no wrong answers here. We are brainstorming and you're gonna keep improving on these stories over time. And the, the, the great thing about doing this exercise is it will sharpen your consciousness toward more about thinking more about your ideal client so that as you work with them, you'll start noticing pieces to then add to these stories, which will improve your marketing overall. So again, the first part of the story is what problems are they coming to you at the beginning to help them to, to solve for them? Okay. Now, the second question is, what is the work you are doing with them? As you help them solve that problem or those problems that they came to you, what is it? What, what is the process you're using to help them solve it? What exercise are you doing with them? What tool are you introducing to them or walking them through? What um, modality are you using to help heal them, to transform them, to, to help them live a better life? And the third question is, as you use this process with them, what are the reactions? What are their reactions? Where are they getting great insights? Or where are they confused? And what do you need to explain further or do further with them for them to understand and have a transformational experience? Okay, so what are their reactions and their insights? And then the fourth question to answer in this story is, what is the result? What is the transformation that can be seen in their life as a result? Be as specific as you can. So the way to be specific is, imagine there was a movie camera following them in their life, a movie about their life. And before they started working with you, there's a scene from their life that looks like this. Maybe it's a problematic scene. They're, they're, they're struggling in some way. And then after working with you or going through a particular exercise with you or going through a particular process with you, their life now looks different. Maybe it's a particular scene in their life now looks different. So it's so, it, the, the result or the transformation I want you to describe here is something that can be seen, in other words, by a third party someone can point to their life, that scene in their life, says, oh, yes, that was different from before they started working with you, right? So what is that difference? What is that visible difference? Okay, so that's it. That's the four-part story that I invite you to write. Again, pause this video, write, the, write out a quick story. 
Remember, this is just brainstorming for now. You can always come back and add to it later. And this will also sharpen your consciousness so that you'll notice more of these aspects as you work with clients and therefore improve your marketing in this way. Now, once you've written a story, I invite you to write another one. Maybe it's about the same client, but a different situation. A different situation. Maybe it's about a different client, okay? But write another story, okay? Once you've completed that, I want you to write another one. I invite you to write five to ten such stories. Remember, as you're doing this, these stories are not going to be perfect. They're going to get better and better over time. But, but these stories are going to be tremendously useful for marketing to your ideal clients so that they can recognize themselves and what transformation they would like okay, by working with you. Make sense? And it also, again, hones your mindset so that as you continue working with clients, you'll start seeing the elements of these stories that are going to be incorporated as you, as you uh, write these stories the next time. So write five to 10 of these stories. Once you've done that, the next step is to pick two to three of the stories that energize you the most, that really showcase your great work that really showcase the most important work that you do with people. Pick two to three of them. And then I invite you to memorize these two to three stories. Memorize them so that when you're talking with someone new about what kind of work you do, these kinds of stories will, because you've memorized it, they'll easily, parts of it will come naturally to the way you're describing what you do and the kind of people you love to help and how you love to help them. Make sense? And the last uh, little bit of this exercise that's gonna be really useful is for you to find the common threads among these stories, okay? What are the issues they came to you with, uh, came to you to help you to help them solve? What are the solutions you used, the processes you, you uh, used to help your client transform? And what are the results that they gained? Now, I invite you, if you'd like to, to add a story or two uh, underneath the video. And this will, of course, showcase your work. And it'll also help others, inspire them, that they can also write stories like this. All of us who work with clients can write stories like this. And I believe would benefit from writing stories like this. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing if you'd like to share any of your stories underneath the video.